Nothing on the inside, nothing on the back. Oh, this one's a slightly different shape box, but still, nothing in it. Nothing. Let me show you what's what. How your set looks can make all the difference in the world. It can turn your production from something cheap looking to something awesome and incredible. And it really can help you tell your story. How's it going everyone? I hope you're staying creative out there and welcome back to Leon Unity, the creative filmmaking and storytelling community by Leon Films. If you're new here, I'm Petros Yanu. I'm an award-winning writer and director and general filmmaker both behind and sometimes in front of the camera too. And this is Minutes at Monday again, where as always, we at Leon Films as a working video production company for brands and creatives give you real world filmmaking tips from our adventures on set. Today, it's gonna to be a bit different. We're gonna talk a little bit about production design on Minutes of Monday. Let's hop in the time machine and go back in time to when we were filming on the bump set to show you exactly what Andy did with his set to bring up his production value and make something look really cool. Hi guys, Andrew Hollingworth here, producer and set builder of PC Planet. Let me show you what's what. Today we are on the set of Bump for our second to last day. We have just shot in a PC Planet Superstore, which is a fake version of PC World or Curry's or Best Buy or something like that. Um, and Andy here, who is the producer and writer of Bump, uh, helped, well, basically built the entire thing uh, pretty much from scratch in basically an athletic club. But Andy, why don't you tell us a little bit about why you wanted to, why you wanted it to look the way you wanted it to look and what colors you were using it for what, uh, and how you went about making it, bringing absolutely, your vision to life. Absolutely, absolutely. So. First up, we have a color scheme that runs through Bump, which is uh, red, is the main color. Um, we also allow blacks and whites and greys into that mix, even though Petrus isn't in the film. Um, the reason that everyone asks, is there a reason for it? And there isn't really one other than it just looks sweet. I, you know? I always thought it was because like red is like the color of love, basically. Yeah, people say that. It's also the color of lust and blood, but... Um, Really That's like the we, much darker ending uh, of yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> it's actually it is a romantic comedy, so there's none of that. Yeah. Um, but it actually started as a stage play, and because uh, we had a very low budget for the play, the director said, "Well, you know, we haven't we can't hire a designer or anything like that. Why don't we just have a color scheme that runs through it?" And red's quite a bold color, so we decided to go for that. So when we were designing this part of the set, there was a lot of photoshopping involved. Now the tricky thing here is we didn't think we'd be allowed to use real video games just in case we get got in trouble with people. So we've uh, ripped off, um, this one is Red Dead Redemption. Uh, this one is a game called Sniper. This one over here is made up completely and it's, uh, I mean, I don't really want to know what this is. Why is Quantum 4.99, huh? Ah, look at this. It looks old school. That, no. Thank you. No. Thank you. <laughs> at least someone's walking. I'm really, so glad he hired you. You have really <laughs> undervalued these games. I'm really disappointed. It's really wishy washy, the laws of. Uh, I didn't want to. You can't steal work. Copyright, yeah. Copyright, which is why it's also PC Planet instead of PC World, because uh, we didn't want to get done for slander. Um, so these products here are all um, just made up. You know, there's nothing even on that. Oh, 8K native output. Uh, yeah. That, that seems... 8,000. 8,000, yeah. Yeah, but then you've got that in the same shop as, you know, something that sells this, which you're like, well, how can these two pieces of technology be in the same store? They are, though, when you, you know, know. When you're going to these sorts of stores, though, for what little of them still exist, unfortunately. But To those people, I say dramatic license. Exactly. But oh, He's got some hard drives around there, and one of them, it says bigger, harder. So tell me a bit about, about this setup and what exactly you did to make it. All these boxes were ordered online. You can see they're all a bit flimsy. Nothing on the inside, nothing on the back. It's all for show. Exhibit A's, exhibit B's. Oh, this one's a slightly different shape box, but still, nothing in it. Uh, some of these boxes you'll see uh, merely just boxes cut in half. Um, and if you come round, come, come around the back this way. Nothing. This is a running club, and this is how to make it look like PC Planet. So did you build all of this? Uh, yeah, it took like two days. With a bit of help from Ori and um, 
and that's it. <laughs> and we were originally looking at trying to get it filmed in a in an actual PC world, um, but it just wasn't possible. And you start speaking to people, and they're like, "Yeah, we'll email you," and they never do. And it was just a big um, thing. And then my dad is actually a member of this athletics club, and he said, "Why don't you just film it at the running club?" And I was like. <laughs> Don't be ridiculous, father. That's not possible. Um, <laughs> but then I started thinking about it. I was like, it's a massive open space. It's got a red carpet. So I was like, hmm, it's already got two things going for it. So then I started looking at this shelving stuff and um, found some really close by to pick up. And um, and it was quite expensive, the shelving, but my thought on that was that I can resell it afterwards. So I was like, well, for what I budgeted for this scene, I'm if I get just you know half the money back for these these shelves i'm like wait like you know 500 pounds under what i was planning to spend on it so that would be really nice and that's i mean when you're when you're working on like an indie film set like this it's it's always important to make sure that basically you've got you try and work within your budget but you try and tell the best story that you can that's uh the i've always had this philosophy that it's not about um, you know, that you can't do something, but how can you do something? Mm. And you've got, you. what we have here is basically one stack there, one stack there, and one over there. I, I was a bit lucky as well. My cousin works in a printing shop and was able to get all these stickers printed for me. It was a lot of, like, a lot of work for him and then a lot of work for us on the other end because we had to cut them all out and, and we were here. This is probably, I would say about 20 hours of work gone into just this set. It doesn't look like much, but you know, we had to, Honestly, we had to, we had to you, cut boxes in half just to make something fit, you know? But that's just the way you have to do it. And it's, it's you've got to tell a story the way you can. Uh, I can see you put some of my red gaffer tape on there, on the corners uh, of that one. I think one. this might be my red gaffer tape and it's actually LX tape. And he's the one doing the YouTube video. I don't know. I thought it was mine because we used some of mine the other day on the menu. It could be, they've all muddled up. Yeah, yeah all, at, 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 at some point you just become one person on film sets. And that's what we are. One person. We actually look a little bit like, don't we? Yeah, you wish. Um, <laughs> work with what you've got and try and make sure that when you're handling production design uh, in a small independent project, you've got to move stuff around. You've got to try and figure out a way to make things work. Now, Andy here used his own contacts and resources to get what he could. We used uh, some great innovative lighting by Aperture and Overall, it ended up, uh, I think today was a great success for the most part. I had some family issues, so I want to say thank you to Ash uh, and Kelsey and everybody uh, who, who worked behind the camera to make sure that uh, it kept running while it had to disappear for a few hours. But yeah, I think you did a great job making this look much larger than it is and much, much more engaging than it is. And that's part of your story is to tell that he works in a big superstore, not just in like some leisure center. Andy, where can they find you on social media? You can find me on social media at AP Hollingworth. That's Twitter and Instagram. That'll be underneath there. I don't know if I was pointing at the right thing there, but I'm sure it is. Anyway, you can find me at Petros of Sparta, and you can find Leon Films at, at Leon Films on Facebook and Twitter, and at Leon Unity on YouTube and on Instagram. So check us out and see what's coming up next time on Minute Tip Monday. Enjoy. Here's a present for you. Oh, thank for you so much. For your sir. hard work. Jim. Thank you so much, sir. Speed races. And so that will do it for this week. I always put a lot of stock into the production design of things that I work on because to be perfectly honest, I think it's one of the most important aspects of your production. At the end of the day, it's the, it's going to make things look less like you're just shooting a theatre play um, and doing it like very low budget and it's going to make it more like this really happened. That's one big advantage of doing uh, good production design. Look at some of the sets we used for My Life as a video game from the paintball park that we used as a destroyed war field to the graffiti walls that we used from the Double Dragon episodes. We used spaceship sets, we used everything. And the same with Sisters of House Black, we went and found some really cool locations we could film in, from an old Victorian era house to this really massive hotel. We were actually some of the last people to ever go there because it got uh, knocked down. We're gonna be releasing one more from the set of Bump next week. Feel free to comment below what you wanna hear from us. What kind of production design have you used on your sets before? How have you made your films look cinematic and epic? We do all kinds of creative stuff on this channel, on Leon Unity, so consider subscribing if you want to learn more about filmmaking and storytelling. Plus, we make our own movies and short films. Anyway, guys, stay safe, stay indoors, and create new. <laughs>